Castle finally gets its iconic water tower back. CBS 2 Suzanne Lomagno is live there now where the community is celebrating. Suzanne? Well, Erica, celebrating because they've been waiting for three years to see this. The historic water tank, it is back. Now, crews had been busy here for the past hour using a blowtorch to make sure they could solder that lid in place. Just a short time ago, crews finally put the cap on the blue and yellow water tank bearing the image of the Swedish flag. The road was closed here at the intersection of Clark and Foster to put the iconic structure in place. This new 27,000 pound steel tank replaces the old wooden structure, which was a water basin, and pressurized the water supply at the Swedish American Museum. The old water tank was removed back in 2014. It was damaged after an incredibly harsh winter and started leaking right into the museum. The new structure has no water purpose. It's a symbol of Andersonville and the community's long standing Swedish heritage. It's beautiful to see it, and it's part of the culture of Chicago and uh, makes me think of the immigrants that came from uh, Sweden. Community all stepped up and they, you know, pitched in and, you know, got this going back up and, you know, it's a great idea. It's good for the community. We were all clapping when they got it on there. Snarling up the traffic though terribly. Well, the Swedish American Museum raised about $165,000 to replace the original water tank. Meantime, we're told that the crane, it's going to take about 30 minutes. You see the crane right there behind me to bring that down. And then the road here at Foster and Clark should reopen by 8 o'clock at the very latest, they say. We're live in Andersonville. Suzanne Lemigno, CBS 2 News. Rob, Erica. Yeah, good to see it back. Yes. Thank you, Suzanne.